Unlike other fountains we have visited, this one was a bit of a puzzle to figure out. At this fountain, there were no markings regarding its provenance. It sits there naked in the Chinatown of Montreal with nothing to identify when it appeared or why. I had to do a little bit of digging to figure out when it appeared in this place. I reached out to both the Municipal Archives of Montreal and the management of Habitation du Centre de which the fountain is located adjacent to. No useful information in either case. The third source I tried is a well-known site called imtl.org, which lists different buildings in Montreal, including images and date of construction. From their site, I learned that Habitation du Centre de an apartment complex opened its doors in 1983. Sometimes practicality dictates design, and this seems to be the case of this fountain. In taking a bird's eye view of the building and the fountain that we are visiting today, it becomes clear that whoever the architect was decided to incorporate the said fountain as part of the urban landscape, creating a mini oasis for passersby, be they bipeds or of the avian variety. On one visit, these pigeons just seem to be chilling. The center pedestal features the central water element, and around the cubic form, there are four lighting elements. To the side, there is a minor figure. It too features a lighting element. Given that this one was closer to the edge of the basin, I was able to see that these lights were provided by crystal fountains, whom we learned something about in our last episode. This really doesn't surprise me too much, considering the number of projects the firm has worked on and its Montreal origin. As you can see from this Google Earth screen capture, the color surrounding the basin of the fountain matches the color of the brick, which makes up the walls of this building.